Hey friends, it's Miss Hoffman. Today we are going to create self-portrait minions. So here is minion Miss Hoffman. So here I am as a minion. You guys can probably see a lot of things about me in here. You can see that uh, here's my brown hair and I have glasses. My favorite color is green. I have art on my shirt. You can see me painting. You guys know that I love green and blue, so I chose green and blue to paint on my easel. We have a Van Gogh painting in the background, which you know I love Impressionism, Post-Impressionism, I love Van Gogh. And then in the background, here's the board with all our to-dos, and here's the elements of art listed that we would be learning that day. So here is Minion Miss Hoffman. I'm gonna teach you how to do a self-portrait Minion, and everybody's is going to look different. So this is not a traditional step-by-step -step um, instructional video because I can't do step-by-step -step how to draw you. You're going to have to add your own details to make it look like you. So if you're a baseball player, your minion might have on a baseball cap or be holding a ball in one hand and a baseball bat in the other. Or if you're a dancer, your minion might be wearing ballet shoes. Or if you're a cheerleader, your minion might be holding pom-poms. Or if you love basketball, there might be all different types of basketball posters behind them with a basketball basketball goal or, or holding a basketball. So everybody's is going to look different. So how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to show you how to draw a basic minion and then kind of give you tips on how to personalize it. So to draw a basic minion, you start off and I know most of the time I draw straight with a marker and I might need to to trace over it so you can see what I'm doing. But to be able to customize it a little bit, I'm gonna start with pencil. Remember when you're doing all these steps with me, no matter if I start with marker or not, you always do pencil first, then trace with marker, then color in if we're doing a cartoon drawing like this. But to do a minion, you kind of start off with a oval shape, kind of like a bean shape, okay? So hopefully that's visible on the camera there. After you do that, then you're going to, minions have goggles, right? So you have to decide, does your minion have one eye or two eyes? And this is obviously not a realistic self-portrait. I don't think Miss Hoffman really looks exactly like this. Okay, maybe a little, but not exactly like this. So I do have glasses, so I made my goggles look more like glasses. So it kind of gave that look of Miss Hoffman. But do you want your minion to have one big eye, like some of the minions do, or two? Okay, but you have to decide. So I'm just going to do two eyes here. So I'm going to draw a circle. Circle. It's going to look kind of silly at first to do the goggles. And then do the straps over. Okay, and then we're going to draw the inside of the goggles. And then I would trace over that with black so it shows up better. So right now he kind of looks like Mr. Potato Head. Then you're going to draw the inside of the eye. So another circle, another circle. Then you're gonna give a little light reflection where the light's in the eye and the pupil. And that is where you would color the pupil. This part right here, I'll shade it in just so you can kind of get a visual, is where the eye, the pupil is the black portion of the eye. So then the light reflection. And then the inside circle is the colorful portion of the eye. So whether you have green eyes or brown eyes or like Bob, I think it's Bob the Minion, one green eye, one brown eye, just like my little girl. She has one green eye, one brown eye. All right, so here I had the little light reflections, the pupil, and then the brown. I had brown eyes, so brown around, okay? Now, after that, you decide whether you want your Minion just to have a little smile like this or... Like I said, like Bob and a few other minions have their mouths more open with teeth showing, so you can kind of do that. Now we need to add in arms and shirts and things like that. So a traditional minion will have overalls on. Now you do not have to wear overalls on your minion, okay? But if you wanted like a traditional minion look, you could do some straps coming in, kind of give it an overall look, and their arms would come out like that. And we can, good thing Miss Hoffman did use a pencil this time. All right, uh, have their little arms coming out like that and then their legs coming out at the bottom. Again, kind of like Mr. Potato Head. All right, and you can add details and hair or whatever. But what I did 
is after I drew my oval, I drew the shirt, I drew pants, I drew little arms coming out, I went ahead and put my hairstyle on. So if you have long hair, you would want to put long hair coming on your mini. And you want to customize it where it looks like you in a cartoon minion version. So since I have long brown hair, I did long brown hair. Since I wear glasses, I made my goggles a little thinner so it gives it glasses frames look. Since I have brown eyes, I put brown eyes on my minion. And then in the background, I filled the background with so many symbols that represent Miss Hoffman. Here I am in our classroom teaching. Here is a starry night that hangs on the wall behind my desk. Here is uh, my board with all of our to-dos for the day. Here is my easel where I'm drawing. So you see so many things about me in here that it easily shows that this is supposed to be Miss Hoffman, especially since I wrote Miss Hoffman in the background. So you can customize your minion to make them look like you. Are you wearing a baseball hat? Are you carrying pom-poms? What are you doing? So basic steps, again, oval, add little sleeves, add little arms, square for a pants, square for pants, add little legs or feet, and then customize it. One eye or two eyes for a minion and a simple smile. Minions, believe it or not, do not have noses. I didn't think about that until I started looking at pictures of minions to do this. They don't have noses, so that's why they have those big, thick uh, goggles with straps around them. There's no nose to hold them up, so they have straps around their head. So no nose on the minion. But you would color this in yellow, give it that minion look, and you will have your fun, cute minion self-portrait. So I hope you like Minion Miss Hoffman today. I hope you have some fun creating. Feel free to email me pictures if you choose to do this. You can find my email address on most of the Specials Choices boards. And <clears throat> I miss you and I hope to see you soon. Bye.